Hey, this is Bert. If you've watched my channel at all, you know that I like to open up my action figures. I don't hardly leave anything in the package so that I can, you know, make all sorts of displays and setups and take photographs and customize them. And one day at work where I have a few of my action figures on display, someone asked me why I was keeping this one particular action figure in the package. And I, uh, I didn't have a good reason for it. So, uh, I decided not only would I open it, but maybe I would do uh, an official unboxing. So let's check it out. Go Skill Customs. So here's the figure I was talking about right behind me, and it's actually none other than Vincent Van Gogh, the famous Dutch painter of such things as Starry Night and Sunflowers and more than a few self-portraits. So I didn't really have a good reason for keeping this in the package. I mean, the package is kind of cool with Starry Night in the background behind the, the the name and everything like that. It's maybe a little bit on the busy side. I don't know if I was maybe just afraid of losing the paintbrush or uh, maybe I didn't have a, a setup in mind for him. Now, this figure is by Accoutrements, which uh, is now, as far near as I can tell now, Archie McPhee Wholesale. And they uh, they still sell lots of wacky toys, but not not so much uh, action figures. They did have like a whole line of action figures, including like Leonardo da Vinci and the Crazy Cat Lady and a librarian and uh, all sorts of odd choices. Albert Einstein's one of them. Sigmund Freud. Vincent Van Gogh, you know, being an artist, he's the one that appeals most to me, of course. It comes with swappable heads because for some self portraits, you see him, you know, with his his bright red hair but then also there's the famous self-portrait after he cut off either his ear or a portion of his ear depending on who you're going to believe that's featured right here now i believe they actually have the wrong ear sort of it depends on how you're looking at things the self-portrait obviously has it on this side so it looks like it's his right ear but i believe it was actually his left ear because he was looking at a mirror to make his self-portrait so in some ways it's accurate to the painting but in some ways not not real life necessarily then and believe it or not this isn't the only van gogh action figure around there's uh there's quite a few and some of them are fairly expensive uh this one i think back in the day was probably 14.99 maybe I, I got it as a gift so i don't really know how much it was but you know art stores used to carry them actually maybe art stores still have a backlog of these kicking around who knows you see he comes with the removable heads uh paintbrush up at the top a palette, an easel, a frame, and four paintings, which I'm guessing are really just little sheets of paper. Maybe they're cardboard. Before I open it, I should mention another really popular Van Gogh action figure, sort of, and that's the Lego minifigure Van Gogh, who comes with the Starry Night Lego set, which is just a really, really cool piece in my mind. There's some competition. You could have like a whole little Van Gogh action figure collection. Some of these, I mean, are really amazing. Some of them are are kind of cool and stylized. So you got you got your choice. This one, to me, even without opening it, you can see it's got a very '90s Toy Biz Marvel sort of vibe. Super shiny. I'm guessing hard plastic. But yeah, let's find out for real. They talk about different parts of his life and, uh, and then of course, his death. And, and on the package, they talk about how Van Gogh should be pronounced. Van Gogh is uh, how I think it looks like they, they're saying it should be pronounced. What they don't mention on this package is that he actually has a missile-launching head. I was wondering why, <laughs> why the, he has such a, a long neck. And I don't know if they just thought we wouldn't be capable of of taking his head off to swap it or they just thought it you know an action figure needs a missile launcher you know oh oh i broke it already oh no it doesn't work oh there it goes but uh the first the first thing i did when i opened it i was like oh he's got a button on his back i thought maybe they they had someone you know play van gogh voice some some famous van gogh quotes but no it, as soon as i pressed it his head launched off Oh, but now it doesn't work at all. Darn. And then here's the, the swappable head. It's kind of a, you know, cartoony caricature portrait of Van Gogh, an extra large nose and everything like that. The figure has some 
weird articulation. I, I thought I thought it was going to move like a G.I. Joe guy where it swivels in both arms. It swivels on that arm, but this arm, this arm, I do not, not believe has a swivel. So press the button, his head popped off again. There it goes. Ready for the next one. It's, I think it's, you know, it's kind of cool to have uh, an action figure that looks like, you know, the artist. But um, I've actually come to really appreciate these ones that look like artworks. So uh, this this is, I believe, a custom I found online. I couldn't find it, someone to attribute it to of the Vincent Van Gogh Funko Pop where they painted it to look like one of his paintings. And so it's not just him, but now it's it's all, it's got the, the impasto heavy brushstroke look of uh, real Van Gogh. All right, so there's there's the figure. I mean, the legs legs have pretty standard movement here. I guess I didn't move these knees yet. Oh, there goes the head again. Okay. There we go. Oh, they're pretty stiff. Okay, they're stuck pretty bad. And they reveal some, uh, the, the paint's kind of, that's what that's what was making them so stiff, is the paint kind of stuck to itself. All right, let me find that head again. Here it is. I, I mean, I guess, I guess I should have known. I was trying to figure out, you know, for the longest time while I, while I owned this thing, why, why in the world the neck piece was so long? But uh, now I know. Now this swivel on this arm, I don't know if it's supposed to do something. It doesn't really feel like it's moving correctly. It feels like I'm going to break it if I move it anymore. All right, well, let's put him down. And let's take a look at his accessories here. All right, here we have the paint palette. Very cute. Okay, probably not as messy as his real paint palette. That's why I like this one other uh, Van Gogh figure. It's so messy. It's It's got like paint on the clothing. I love that. This one, this one, they... They went for a very clean Van Gogh. Let's take a look at the easel and the artworks here. So there's the easel, pretty pretty standard. It's just got one leg in the back, and the artworks slide up easily. They're 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 printed on a little cardboard, and uh, oh, there's the the one of the two self portraits with the bandage on his ear. Would have liked Starry Night to have been one of the artworks. I don't know if, why they didn't choose that one, but. These are, these are pretty cool, though. Here's the Night Cafe. Van Gogh here stands at five and a quarter inches tall, which makes him a little little too small to look right with uh, six-inch Black Series figures. So I don't know if you were planning on uh, having Van Gogh at, at, at your cantina bar or something like that, but he doesn't totally work. It looks a little bit like a child-sized person. Plus, I mean, just the, the lack of any matte finish on him at all and just how shiny he is. It doesn't really suit himself for hanging out with uh modern six inch figures like marvel legends or anything like that but he's a really fun little action figure for on his own has you know the potential for a lot of setups plus the accessories are nifty and you could you could easily give the accessories to to your other action figures i could see han solo and, and bespin gear taking up painting you know in some alternate universe where he doesn't get frozen in carbonate he spends those years as a painter. It's a fan fiction right there. So that's the Vincent Van Gogh action figure from Accoutrements. I, I still can't get over the missile launching head, but as I thought about it, when I had the librarian figure, she had shushing action where she'd put her finger to her mouth and shush people. Uh, so maybe maybe all these Accoutrements figures have action features. I don't I don't remember the, the crazy cat lady having one. I kind of wish I hadn't sold it now or gave it away. I don't even know what happened to it. But uh, if you know, please let me know in the comments if the rest of them have some sort of weird action feature like Vincent Van Gogh and, and the librarian, because I'd really like to know that. Also, I was thinking, I know that, that when I was a kid, I had a Spawn figure who launched his head. I'm wondering if you guys know any other action figures that, that have head launching features. I was thinking maybe the Scorpion Alien by Kenner. Kind of, I mean, I know it explodes, but it does involve its head launching out of it. So if you know of any more, please leave leave them in, leave the names in the comments below so that I could maybe make a head launching action figure list. Just like my other super necessary list, the list of action figures that come with frying pans. So it's my goal to fill YouTube up with unnecessary action figure list videos. So please help me in this goal. And uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.